Hey everyone, and welcome to the <laughs> the horsey show. <laughs> hey everybody, and welcome to the week twenty-five pregnancy vlog. This week, the baby is the size of a head of cauliflower. That's pretty big. <laughs> yep, and Ooh. it's developing its grasp. It can grab the umbilical cord now, <laughs> or some. Uh, other... stick out its tongue. Oh yeah, it can stick out its tongue now. Oh, it's starting to put on some weight. Yep, getting a little baby fat going on, <laughs> so it's not quite so long and skinny. Thirteen <laughs> and a half inches, I believe, is what it should be now. A foot long. <laughs> Over a foot long. Pretty awesome. All right, and with that being said, it's been a nice sunny week outside. The symptoms yeah. for week 25 seem to be pretty spot on for Hilda. Yeah, pretty much um, what you read about, <laughs> like heartburn. Um, the heartburn really peaked out. Um, <laughs> we went to Arby's, and I had, you know, curly fries because they're yummy. And then that night, it was like the worst heartburn. <laughs> possible so I think I really need to stay away from like fried foods no french fries at least no curly fries for me yeah, but, yeah. Say, stay away from spicy and I think we had Mexican one of the days yeah Mexican didn't help <laughs> stay away from citrusy foods tomato saucy foods yeah pretty much everything we like I, I know I've been having bad heartburn <laughs> we love <too>. tomatoes <laughs> the other symptom has been carpal tunnel yeah, like every time I sleep, this hand always goes numb, and then sometimes this hand, but always my right hand. And by numb, I mean like completely, like where you cannot feel the whole thing, it just feels completely dead. Yeah, if I'm using my cell phone during the day, it falls asleep, or, you know, any fine motor skills. It kind of makes it hard sometimes. Yeah, luckily they say that should go away. After pregnancy. After the birth. And then she's had a new symptom, something that cropped up. Yeah, lately. this might be um, TMI, but I will just share it because we're doing all the symptoms. Well, I haven't been like staying up on laundry, so I was wearing medium underwear instead of like extra large underwear. Yeah, because the whole body grows, right? It was just like way too tight and um, creating kind of a rash where the yeah, and where it goes. So I ended up really uncomfortable and went to the doctor about it. And they put me on some creams. And yeah, I'm getting better and better. What's it called? Candida. Candida? Yeah. Which is something that everybody naturally has, but then sometimes it can grow exponentially, like, or colonize your body. And um, it showed up in my bladder um, in my last UA too so not good and I think it's because I've been on like three rounds of antibiotics yeah not fun <laughs> not fun at all and very unexpected I don't remember that happening on any of the last pregnancy yeah but I was never on three rounds of antibiotics true let alone one I don't that is true yeah all right any other symptoms lately um Lower back pain. Oh yeah, I've been doing a ton of gardening because it's beautiful outside. So all that bending over just really puts the pain in my lower back. I've been trying to like lay down to garden or like have the girls help me and still it just hurts sometimes. I'm still having the pain in my calf muscle but not as much as the last video last week. So luckily that's Toned down a bit. Not pregnancy related, but um, last week, uh, Zoe was like, I'm gonna go check on the horses. And she runs out, you know, looks for them, and, and then she runs back in the house and she's like, Mom, Mom, the horse is in your garden. And sure enough, the horse is like grazing because it broke yeah. in through the hog panels that we normally have hog panels all around here. Yeah, right behind and us. It just busted them down. And garden so now the dog panels are all down because yeah. they're all bent up we're gonna have to put a hot wire around there around this somehow mm -hmm. to keep it out but he's she's a little punk yeah we're gonna have to do the electric fence around the garden so the horse does not try to reach over break the fence <laughs> or eat my blueberries oh and just so you know when i went to the doctor i just went to the urgent care walk-in they mentioned that my heart rate was like super high it was 112 
at resting, which is quite, like, way too fast. And the weeks before when I went to the doctor, they were telling me it was because I was dehydrated. Then I started thinking what else could cause the high heart rate. So I was Googling it, and it said um, thyroid problems or possibly anemia. So I'm getting my um, one-hour glucose test on Monday, and I called and asked if they could add on the TSH, the thyroid stimulating hormone, and then anemia test. So we're going to go ahead and get that all checked out to see if I'm okay in those departments. And that kind of leads into the C-section got scheduled. They scheduled without talking to us. Yeah, you think they'd call and, like, ask what dates are were available or do it but no apparently they just schedule it i called you know to to schedule it because i hadn't heard from them and then she was like oh i already scheduled it and i'm like okay what day and then she said august 12th and that is emily's birthday um emily's our eight-year-old in case you don't know the thought of having like two children with the same birthdays is probably it's kind of complicated to think about like i can see pluses and minuses I think everybody wants their own day. Yeah, Emily, uh, I was very clear she did not want to be sharing her birthday or having the baby on that day or even the day before or the day after. So we're trying to figure this out. I mean, she's got a OBGYN appointment next week. So mm -hmm. on Thursday, go and talk to them then. I mean, the main thing is they show our due date as or her due date is August 16th. 16th, yeah. So August 12th to them is four days before. That's what, about the time frame mm -hmm. they want to do. But in the last ultrasound, yeah. the first ultrasound they said August 14th, and the last ultrasound they said August 12th. Yeah. But they, for some reason the doctor always wants to stick with the original August 16th for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. So, and then do we want them on the same birthday? I mean, I think it'd be kind of cool. I mean, it'd be really easy to remember two kids' birthday with one date, and then we always end up combining Zoe's and Emily's birthdays right now, and they're a month apart. Yeah, Zoe's on 7-Eleven, so Emily's 8-12, so we always celebrate their birthdays together. Yeah, so even if this kid's a week early, er, yeah. we're still going to be combining their birthdays. It's kind of strange that we apparently did everything exactly like the first kid and I do it's from the date of really conception bizarre. to the due date is exactly the same which and to the birthday possibly yeah it's very weird we're gonna have to talk to Emily about it we haven't talked to her yet yeah we haven't talked to her yet so so don't tell her we'll yeah. have to have that conversation um tonight yeah before we yeah post this. before we post this so we'll let you know in our next video what Emily has to say maybe leave a comment on what your thoughts are should we have the kids share a birthday or do you think they both need their own special day? I'm kind of debating maybe like August 10th for a birthday. You know, pull it up two more days early. But then I was thinking we'd still be like getting out of the hospital um, on Emily's birthday, which is kind of a drag. And it is kind of weird because August 12th is a Sunday. You wouldn't think they'd schedule it for that. But yeah. Anything else going on you wanted to mention? I guess if you're wondering why I'm having a C-section, we had really troubling um, births the first time with Emily. We went through like 66 hours of labor and then had to have a C-section. And with Zoe, we went with um, over 80 hours of labor and then had to have a C-section. That time, both girls were um, sunny side up and um, not progressing past 8 centimeters. Basically, we don't want to go through that again and skip all that labor and just um put up with the c-section which is already hard enough um in my opinion yeah with yeah. zoe we did schedule a c-section assuming we do one and then yeah we did three schedule. days before the c-section date she went into labor we went to the hospital mm -hmm. because it was already scheduled it was very much uh well it looks like you're progressing better than emily so let's try and then things kind of stopped that sunday and by then it was like, well, you know, we'll do the C-section tomorrow as scheduled unless you yeah, have the baby. Yeah, but that was so. after 80 hours yep. of labor, so. Yeah, and so this time we very much mm -hmm. wanted to schedule the C-section a week early, which is what yeah. they say they want to do, too, so that there's no mm -hmm. possibility of 
well, there's still a possibility, but there's a very le less chance that Hilda will go into labor or before the C-section and do the same. Um, my concern is if we do the August 12th um, is the C-section, which is my due date. If we end up going that route, then um, I'm just afraid I'm going to labor and then I won't get my doctor to do the C-section and be like an on-call doctor. Mm -hmm. And I really feel like I went with the best... Um, surgeon so all right so i yeah. think that's it are you ready for a belly shot or are you going oh, anything yeah. else so we've actually been keeping up with these videos each week um i've been taking belly shots every monday since we found out hilda was pregnant and i'm saving all those pictures <laughs> for sort of a montage when we get closer to the due date yeah or maybe right after the baby's born so i'm actually surprised that we've kept it up this long <laughs> So week 25, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode and stay tuned for more. We'll keep you posted on what the doctor says on Thursday. And then my one hour glucose test, wish me luck on that. I hope I can survive that. The doctor said don't screw it up because then I have to go back and have the two hour, which is even less fun. So yeah, busy week ahead and then I, have a lot of gardening goals too, so hopefully I can get everything done that I want to get done. <laughs> All right, and as always, we'll put a link to the playlist of the pregnancy right above Hilda's head. So you can catch up on all our videos. All right, with that, we'll see you guys next week. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.